Hello, for this video we're going to review the steps for scan to folder setup on a Rico copier. This will be a two-part video. We will review the steps to browse the network on the device and we will also review the steps to set up the address book entry for scan to folder. So let's get started. There are a number of items you must have. Copier must be connected to the network. You must have access to the address book. You must have access to the PC where you want to scan and you must have the file share set up and the folder must be shared for scan the folder to work. Let's get started. Once you're at the panel of the copier, select Scanner Classic, select the Folder tab, select Manual Entry, make sure that SMB is selected, and select Manual Entry. From here you'll enter the folder path. This is the host name and folder path. For this video, we have a lab computer set up, so we're going to scan to that lab computer. Once you have the folder path entered, select OK. Now for the username, select Manual Entry. This is a domain environment, so we're going to enter the fully qualified username. We'll do a manual entry of the password. Once the password is entered, select OK. Now select Connection Test. Once you browse a network, select Scans, select OK. Now you have your folder path entered and select OK. Go ahead and load the feeder and select Start. Once your scan is completed, select Scan File Status and your job should display in the log as completed. If there's an error, then there's been uh, a step that's been missed and I would double check your settings. So let's move on to the remote address book setup on the copier itself. After you load the IP address in the web browser, the web image monitor page will display. This might prompt you for a login. The default login for Rico devices is admin, so A-D-M-I-N, and the password will be blank or no password. If you're not prompted for a username and password, then please continue. Select address book. And from here, you would select Detail Input and Add User. Enter the name. For this video, it will be John Smith. If you scroll down here, select Folder Authentication. Again, for this video, it's a domain environment here. So we're going to put the domain name and the user account. Select Change to enter the address, or I'm sorry, the user password. All right, scroll down here and enter the folder path. So again, the host name and the folder location. Select OK. As you can see, there's our address book entry. If you go back to the panel, select Scanner Classic. Go to Folder. There's your entry. Select the Start button once you've loaded the feeder and your job is complete. This concludes our video. Thank you.